welcome, welcome to the world premiere performance of the experimental music stylings of Ant Androgen. And it seems like our sound engineer wants nothing to do with this music. He's rocking some sound blocking earmuffs with a male symbol on them, representing our topic today. Non-steroidal antiandrogens, or NSAAs. Just as these earmuffs block sound, non-steroidal antiandrogens block the action of testosterone by antagonizing the androgen receptor directly, rather than lowering androgen levels in the body. Just like how earmuffs block sound directly, rather than lowering the volume of sound in the auditorium. You'll notice the sound person is also eating a rather unappetizing pre-show snack of a rotting apple core, Sketchy's symbol for prostate cancer, a main use for non-steroidal antiandrogens. The stylish blue-to-pink shorts also represent another use for NSAAs, male-to-female transgender therapy. Yeah, we agree. It's super outdated to associate pink with women and blue with men, but yellow and green were busy today, okay? And most importantly, we want to help you remember one of the important functions of this medication. Other uses for non-steroidal antiandrogen medications include polycystic ovarian syndrome, priapism, and congenital adrenal hyperplasia. As a group, many of the non-steroidal antiandrogens share similar side effects, including impotence, gynecomastia, hot flashes, and osteoporosis. And they all can cause nausea and vomiting. Hopefully our performer doesn't have a nervous belly and keeps his lunch down, because this uh, packed audience is ready for the show. First, we'll discuss first-generation non-steroidal antiandrogens, which will be placed on stage or towards the front of the auditorium. The first generations are androgen receptor blockers, but they don't block the receptors completely, which means they can't entirely prevent androgen receptor activity. And just a heads up, you may want to block your ears when this old flute starts tooting. Or flouting? Flutin'? Anyway, this old flute is our symbol for flutamide, an older first-generation non-steroidal antiandrogen that is infrequently used secondary to the risk of extremely serious hepatotoxicity. I mean, you could have at least dusted it off before using it. Uh, the next in this generation is symbolized by this null sign on the drum. Null as in nil. Zilch. Zero. Nada. Yeah, you guessed it. It's nilutamide. However, first-generation nilutamide isn't a first-choice medication, as it can cause interstitial pneumonitis. Less severe side effects can include vision changes and alcohol intolerance. Unbothered by the terrible performance is Ant's biggest fan, here in the front row, enthusiastically waving her Bic lighter around. Sketchy symbol for Bicalutamide, the most popular and newest member of its generation. Bicalutamide is better tolerated with lower incidence of serious side effects, most notably with no association with osteoporosis. Though it's still not as efficacious as later generations, but hey, it's an improvement, so let's wave our lighters in the air, right? Speaking of later generations, second-generation non-steroidal antiandrogens have a higher affinity for the androgen receptor and therefore demonstrate more effective androgen receptor blockade. And here we have a pair of second-generation NSAAs having a romantic evening out, holding hands, watching their son's performance, Still such good pals after all these years. And these good pals represent apalutamide, which can be associated with hypothyroidism and hypertension, but has less CNS effects than other second-generation NSAAs. And it appears they're enjoying some za. Enzo's za, to be specific, symbolizing enzalutamide. This second-generation NSAA can cause back pain, and has numerous possible CNS side effects, including insomnia, anxiety, and rarely seizure. Though one has to wonder if the parental anxiety is actually secondary to the money they spent on music school for this kid. Oof. Anyway, let's skip the encore and cleanse our ears with a quick review. 
Non-steroidal antiandrogen drugs block the action of testosterone by antagonizing the androgen receptor directly without lowering androgen levels in the body. Non-steroidal antiandrogens are used in the treatment of prostate cancer and prostate enlargement, male-to-female transgender therapy, PCOS, priapism, and congenital adrenal hyperplasia. Flutamide is an older first-generation non-steroidal antiandrogen, which is rarely used secondary to the risk of hepatotoxicity. Nilutamide is another older first-generation non-steroidal antiandrogen associated with alcohol intolerance and vision changes, which is also rarely used, secondary to the risk of interstitial pneumonitis. Bicalutamide is a newer and more commonly used, better tolerated first-generation non-steroidal antiandrogen with less side effects and no association with osteoporosis. Apalutamide is a second-generation non-steroidal antiandrogen whose side effects include hypothyroidism and hypertension, but has less CNS effects than enzalutamide, also a second-generation NSAA whose side effects include back pain, insomnia, anxiety, and rarely seizures. Well, let's bring down the curtain on this one and call it a night, people. That means you can stop playing now. Uh, hello? No, seriously, make it stop. Make it stop. Mm-hmm. <laughs>